Alright guys, welcome back to gameplay part 3 of Grifflands. And here we are at the night market. I know, super exciting. And we just finished up our quest with Rake here. So Rake is going to be one of the vendors that is going to like us. And of course the other end of that spectrum was Endo who does not like us because we didn't choose to help him. And we also have our other two vendors here, so Ploka and also Froluk. And they all sell interesting things. A bit, a bit expensive, but they all do sell interesting things. So let's go talk to Rake first. You find Rake tending to her ring. Knew I'd see you again. Nothing quite as thrilling as the taste of your own blood in your mouth, huh? I can think of a few things. You say that, but here you are. Okay, so for Rake, you can actually remove battle cards, um, which can be helpful when building your deck, or you can also buy cards from her, and she does have, as you can see, a variety of battle cards, which are also at a lot better prices. Now, because she likes us, she gives us a 25% discount, but I'm not going to be buying anything from her yet just because I don't have enough shills in order to buy anything there. Um, let's go talk with Ploka. Like all good markets, there's a Spark Baron selling tech of questionable provenance and safety. You need an edge hunter. A good graft can warn off your enemies or lure them to the grave. So Ploka does deal with graphs. She does negotiation and battle graphs, and you can also add more slots if you want. Um, again, I'm not quite sure if I really need graphs right now. I do have this negotiation graph, which gives me four composure from a random opponent argument and a battle graph where I deal extra four bleed. Now, as you can see, they are quite expensive, so it goes from 100 to 200 and then to 300. If we had her as a vendor that we could have helped out on the quest, then of course this would have been a lot cheaper. But, you know, it's random selection when you first go on to this quest of the night market. And we just happen to end up with Rake and with Endo. Now, I'm going to go to Froluk, which is the beast vendor. And Froluk of the Beast stands before you, surrounded by various animal parts and accessories. So again. Quick, what's the most dangerous beast in Haveria? Si, um, is it people? Ja, si, ha! Not even close. So is it the most dangerous animal in Haveria is... Huh, yeah, you got it. It is people. Takuato. Anyway, if you want to add to your pack, you've come to the right place. So... As his name implies, he is a beast vendor, so he does have random animals that you could purchase, but again, they are quite expensive, and yes, you can also buy cards for your beasts as well. I think there is a side quest, though, where you do get one of the beasts that can join your party here, but if you don't want to go that route, you can definitely purchase them from him. However, again, they are quite expensive. So this is a Trix, which is a wild lumicite, and then Pup, which is a wild rock. That thing reeks of lumen. It sure does. That's a lumicite. The cult harvests them as larvae from the Hessian Sea and force them and feed force feeds them lumen as they grow. Makes them mean and tough. And smelly. Yeah, so this is obviously $250. Now, the thing about animals that I notice is that they are quite weaker than human companions. So I do have Queek that I hired as a deckhand to help me, probably for today. I don't know if she'll still be here tomorrow. But um, animals do help, but not as much as humans do. So let's try to look at the pup. So you, Tesha? Vrocks, eh? I've seen the Admiralty use these. With good reason. Vrocks are smart like birds. And they're tough like birds. But they don't fly anyway, so they're easier to catch. And again, very, very expensive. So I don't have the money for this right now. So I'm going to see him later. And then let's go talk to our poor guy Endo here. 
The Bell of Hesh has room to shelter all for a price. And so he deals with negotiation, but as you can see, in order to remove cards or buy cards from him, because he does not like me, he actually increases his price by 50%. Which, you know, it, it, it happens, that's just what it is. But, I mean, I have a pretty good solid deck of negotiation cards right now. If anything, I do have to look at my battle deck more closely in the future. But it's okay. We may need to negotiate with him in the future to remove some of my cards. But for right now, it seems it seems alright. And that is the night market, folks. Now, unfortunately, because I don't have enough money, I'm not going to really buy anything now. But hopefully, when the day is over, we will have more opportunities on the next day. And so, I'm going to be heading back to the Grog and Dog. And I feel like... And I have to ask her if she has any other missions for me. It's late when you get back to the Grog and Dog. But you can spot trouble before you even step on its porch. You slip quietly behind an overturned table before anyone notices. Or so you think. Kasho's hands grab you by the collar, yanking you out into the weak lumen light of the bar. Ugh. She kicks you hard in the ribs, but you manage to keep your breath. You're gonna need it. Stay down. Go quiet. Go down quiet, Hunter. I promise it'll be like going to sleep. Hmm. So, we met up with Kashio, who is the one that hates us, and obviously she brought some help here. Um... I do have my companion, who will help me, and I can convince Leaky who is the uh, bodyguard of this place to help me as well. Uh, my resolve isn't so good just yet. Uh, what is this other option? I can attack Kashio's goon. And again, I do have Queek on my side as well. But if I lose, I definitely will die from this encounter. I do have full, or well, almost full health, by the way. But since it's the end, the end of the day, or going to be the end of the day, I bet, because it's already night time, I might just try to could do this and see how it plays out. And if not, of course, we're always going to have to end up with this option anyway. So let's see if I can actually do this. Leaky, you're the bouncer. I'm hired to keep ruffians out. Ruffians out. Kasio's a class of her own. I'll vouch for you, Sal. If you don't like it, shove off. Alright. So he's gonna attack me for three, and he has something that he's going to be uh, doing with that. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna apply three composure to save that. And deal additional damage for him there. Quick thinking. Destroy, sleep it off, threaten, and I'm gonna use this card in order to increase that. That way, in the future, when I have that other card again, and I can attack him with that, and hopefully it'll be alright. Okay, nice. Okay, he has his crafty, so I can get rid of that crafty. Um, I don't think he's attacking me this round, which is nice. I'm gonna gain some smarts. Which is nice. Okay. And I might do this. I'll gain two influence. To destroy that. And let's see. Well, I don't have any other attack cards as of right now. And he is going to attack me for that. So. I will... What should I do? Let's try that. Okay. So that should be good. Now I should be covered. Okay. I'm, I'm hoping that this battle does go pretty good. 
Um, he is really trying to attack me here, though. However, as you can see, I do not have any way to really get out of this. <laughs> I'm just really trying to protect myself, but it's not really working out so well. And I can't attack those, so he is going to get rid of my one over here. Or my, my, he's trying to get rid of that. But at least I will be covered over there. Let's see. Okay, that's so good. And that reflected back. Nice. Alright. Let's see what we got to work with here. He's gonna attack me again there. So. I'll block that. And let's do this. Hmm. Well, let's just keep attacking. Me. Oh, that was nice. Okay, and I have one more that I could do. Okay. Alright. At least I am definitely protected, so. That did get rid of that, though. But let's just keep going. Nice. Whew, okay. Well, I did lose some of my resolve, but the day is going to be over anyway. And we have a battle coming. At least he's going to join me inside of the battle. So I can get another negotiation card. Mm. That card actually seems pretty nice because I like to stack up influence. So let's accept that card. I really do need to get rid of some of my negotiation cards though from my deck because that's starting to get a little big. And I have to upgrade my threaten card. Attack with this card twice or draw a card. I personally like drawing cards because then it gives me more choices and more options to play with. So it's fine if my threatened card doesn't really increase in strength. Alright. Metal and nice. I restored some help. So here's how it is. You gonna make me do your job for you? Nah, I guess not. All right. Leaky steps to your side, ready to defend the Grogan dog. Better late than never, you suppose. And so here we go. As you can see now, I got Sal, Queek, and Leaky to help me. And hopefully, that should be pretty good in order to defeat this guy. Alright, so his panic meter is 85 damage. What is this? He has a powered weapon that's galvanized and it's voltaic. So at the end of your turn, I take a damage for every galvanized card I have played. It's armored, so he gains 3 defense at the end of every turn. And he has stroke skin. So the first time he takes damage, they gain 2 defense. Alright, well. I got a host of cards that I can play with. Mm, I'm not sure if I should use that yet. That's nice. I'm glad that I bought that. Well, so he definitely is going to be attacking some of us. I am going to just try to minimize my damage from him first and then try to get going with that. Alright. So, now he has 5 defense. And he's going to keep trying to damaging me, which is not good. Pi wound. Game 2 combo. I might try to draw two cards again. Okay, and that's it. That's all that I got. Alright, I'm really just trying to stay alive and let them do the dirty work. Because, <laughs> you know, I do like to have help inside of these. Nice. Nice. I like the Emperor. Okay, so I'm going to really just try to attack him for all of this. Alright, end of turn. 
Nice, guys. Going good. Going good. Man, that defend is really bad. Okay, so he's going to now attack me. He's going to heal me, which is nice. But I am going to try to protect against that. I want to see if this has anything. Okay. So I got some defense there, which is nice. And I will also do that. Alright. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Luki. You're very helpful. Alright. We got to keep going here. Seems like the only thing I can really do is attack. Okay, so I'm gonna get some damage probably from that. And from this one as well. So yeah. I'm gonna take some damage from his galvanized stuff. But you know what? It happens. Hmm. Okay, so I like the impair. The bleed. And then it's just elbow strike in. He's almost there. So his panic is at 10, so that means another 10 hits, and he will be down. Just do some defense here. Alright. Okay. That's good protection on my part. Looks like he's gonna hit everybody on top of this turn, but can try to get rid of some of that. And all of these tipsy cards are from basically when I was drinking to try to recover my resolve from earlier. Alright, nice. So, because he's in panic mode, we have the option to execute him or to accept his surrender. Now, I personally don't like to execute because then I have people who end up hating me. He has friends. And they have other friends, of course. You do get death loot if you kill him. But I, I try to be nice. So, I'll let him live. For now. Okay, pick a battle card. Hmm. These are quite interesting here. I have hemorrhage. So... It takes two actions, and the ability is whenever you apply a bleed, you heal for one. Okay. And this one is spines, so th it's an ability. You gain one counter whenever you gain one defense, or defense in general, or a shoulder roll. Spend all your combo, gain two defense per combo, regain your spent combo your next turn, and it's a finisher move. So I kind of personally like these two here. I don't have a lot of counter abilities, but that sounds pretty cool. And I like the healing option on this one. The only thing is, of course, it costs a lot of actions. I might take the healing, though, because healing is very hard to get inside of this game. It's quite hard. A negotiation card. Oh, boy. Okay. Calling in all favors. You double your influence, but you gain three vulnerability. Hmm, I don't know about that. You gain two vulnerability, but all cards deal three plus damage this turn. Or you backpedal. Expend one chosen card in your hand and apply five composure. I think right now... I'm okay, so I'm actually going to decline these. I'll just take the money instead. And I can upgrade my card. Gain to defense. Defense, please. And meadow, and restore my resolve. Well, it went up anyway. And I also get a graph resort for beating him. Alright. So, these are all negotiation graphs, so it's going to take up another spot here. But I have Interior Drill. At the start of your turn, reduce the cost of a random, your ca random card in your hand by one until plate. We have Jerackle Janglers. Gain one action at the start of your turn. The core argument takes two, two damage at the end of your turn. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. 
with boss negotiation graph. Gain one action at the start of your turn. All diplomacy cards deal 50% less damage. So that's the main bulk of my deck, though. Just diplomacy. I don't know about this either. Uh, what do I have right now? Reduce resolve loss. I don't know, these don't seem that great. And again, these are all kind of random when given to you throughout the game. It's possible for you to go back to the night market and buy other graphs. And of course, it's going to be more expensive than when you just get them here right now. But it's early on in the game, and I think I will pass on these and just take the money. Fish carefully navigates the mess of her bar, favoring her side. She doesn't look too badly injured, but she's not as young as she used to be. Oh, well, that shucked a rotten oyster. But we've been through worse, and we're both still standing. I can't believe she came for you like that. You. She doesn't care about anyone, does she? She's just a monster all the way down. What's done is done. The fire is only good if it stokes the engine, kid. I should have gone for Kashio as soon as I arrived. Now you're dragged into it too. None of that. You got a bit of grit in your eye. You'll wink it out once you get some sleep. I got a room set up for you in the back. With Kashio gone, the few patrons that remain return to their drinks. Them that weren't spilled. Anyway. Oh, poor fish. Queek looks to the horizon, gauging the time by the skies. Well, Sal, this has been an experience. But your time is up. Maybe we'll do this again sometime, hmm? You never know. Queek leaves, whistling a shanty as she goes. Well, thank you so much for your help. That, that really helped out a lot. But it's time to go to bed and restart our day. Fish didn't get to the top of her field by indulging her wounds. She barely flinches as she spit shines an old mug. I bet your blood's boiling, kid. But we survive the day. Cool your feet, get some rest, and we'll come up with a plan in the morning. So yes, I'm going to definitely rest in the back. A good night's rest can't hurt, unless I wake up dead, that is. Kashio won't be come back on my watch. The back's barricaded, and the front has me. Good night, kid. Fish leads you through a curtain behind the bar, nodding towards a cozy room at the back. Your bed calls to you. You dream of the grime beneath your nails and how it'll never come clean. In the dream, it's actually comforting. So yes, I'll just be going to sleep. And I restore my health, my resolve, and it just has a breakdown and overview of everything that happened during the day. And these cards definitely get destroyed and they get pulled out of my hand. Thank goodness. So nice, the only person who really got disliked on was Endo. Sorry, my dude. But hey, at least I made a couple more friends along the way. You slept through the night with one hand gripping the knife under your pillow. But then, you've slept that way every night since you were 12. You look like you want revenge, and I know just the folks who can help you get it, if you're ready. There's people in both the Spree and the Admiralty who want to see Kashio taken down. Dangerous friends, so pick wisely. Right. I don't think I could get angry like that anymore. You spend years on the Derrick, you learn to tamp it down, you know? Kashio has that effect on people, and you have more reason to than most. Except for all the other folks she sent to the Derrick, maybe. They're not here, though. I am. It's early morning, but the grog and dog patrons are already hard at work on their drinks. So I know you thought I should hold off on that bounty, but after last night, if Kashio wants me to be her worst nightmare, I'd like to oblige. And how are you gonna do that? She knows you're here. She's got money and goons to keep her safe. What do you got? Hmm. You? You're damn right. Lucky for you, I have a couple of contacts who want Kashio dead almost as much as you do. If you can convince them to work with you. Will they need convincing? 
afraid so. The Admiralty doesn't trust hunters as a rule. But talk to my contact and come see if you can convince her otherwise. But taking out Kashio would make a space the Spree would be hap more than happy to fill. I know somebody who will talk to you, especially if you can bring him Kashio's head on a platter. Okay, and so this is where it starts to get more into our quest and in our mission. Um, we already know about the Admiralty. Right? So I think I should play nice with the law, huh? Why not? Lots of folks think Bounty Hunter is on the Admiralty side. Lots of folks don't too. The Admiralty, for example. The Ola will at least give you the time. The Admiralty acts like the tough guys around here, but they're as broken corrupt as the rest. You don't like it? There's always a spree. So basically, it sounds like with this mission, I have to take two different sides or two different routes in order to kill Kashio. Either side with the military or side with these guys, the spree. Lots of unclaimed bounties running with the spree, I take it. There's small fry and you're a barracuda. But everyone knows Kashio's bounty is on the line. You've got your sight set higher. Convince... Convince Nadan of that and he'll give you the leg up you need. Once you've paid your dues, of course. And if I don't, then maybe he'll want to kill you. Or maybe he'll just want to be left alone. Peoples is peoples. That's very true. Okay, so sounds like, right, go with the military or go with these gang of bandits. But uh, let's check in with Fish. Let's see how she's feeling after that night. You really okay with this after last night? We're in it now, whether we like it or not. Leave my grudges where I like them, as long as the hunt's still on. Absolutely. There's blood in the water. Then do it. You won't get no complaints from me. Hmm, let's ask about Kashio here. Figures Kashio would come after you no matter what you did. Well, it's not like I came back as a lowly lumen sludger. She probably has an alert out for any bounty hunter who comes into port. Plus, you were asking around for info, huh? Thought you'd said I'd keep my head down. Yeah, well, I never forgot what Kashio did, neither. Didn't seem right that you'd come home just to let bygones be bygones. And that bounty... It is a big bounty. The biggest. With that money, we could open up three bars. You got it, fish. Dream big. Alright, so we know what we need to do. Let's head out for the day and see where the wind takes us. So we could go to the meat market where there are mercenary mercenaries available for hire at the murder torch. But I, I don't need to really hire anybody just yet. But here we go, picking sides. So I could go to the Admiralty. Or I could go to the gutted Yote, which is basically the bandits, I'm guessing. Now, I think I'm going to go away from the military people just because they've tried to hustle me in the past. So let's try check out these guys here. The spree. All right. Oh, well, let's maybe talk to him first. The Hessians say good food brings you closer to the divine. Kyoku Kyoki could be a priest. Before you start yapping it up with my clientele, mind buying something first. Yes, let's see what you got. Mm hmm. Nothing really for right now. And I guess this is the guy that we need to talk to, who is Nadan. The man greets your gaze with a face like barbed wire. Oh, poor thing. Good lord. Don't know what happened to you, dude. The dawn, right? I'm Sal. I hear you're a guy worth knowing. And I hear you've got an axe to grind. You want to bury it in a few skulls? I like this guy. Okay. You won't get anywhere near Kashio without my help. But my help don't come cheap or easy. You do good work and survive to reap the benefits, then maybe we're in business. Hmm. Alright. Hold up. What exactly is it that you're offering? Do you want Kashio? I can get you Kashio. 
In a few days, the cult will be rolling into Murder Bay for their annual antiquities auction. They sell relics and holy pardons to them that can afford it in exchange for labor contracts or other illicits. That does sound like Kashio's market, but auctions like that have exclusive guest lists. That's where our business arrangement comes in. I can get you into that auction, but only if you can prove you deserve it. You sure Kashio will be there herself? She might just send her goons to do her shopping for her. It ain't just about the goods this year. Big decisions are getting made. The Admiralty wants to annex, and they need the cult on the side to do it. Citizenship would make most sane Haverians choke, but it goes down smoother with some Hessian wisdom. And guess whose life gets a whole lot harder if labor contracts get regulated? The biggest debt broker in the Grifflands, I suppose. The annex is a wrench in her whole operation. She'll be there to make sure it doesn't happen. So take that wrench and yank it. Well, let's ask about you. I get you're the one with demands, pal, but I'd like to know who I'm working with. Yeah, I can't say I blame you with that fish out of water stink. If you were from here, you'd have heard of me already. I'm the scourge of Murder Bay. Folks actually call you that? I don't know. I never asked. I'm not much of a conversationalist. Uh, judging by that face. Hmm. So this work you're having me do. Favors. Yeah, right. It's legal, I assume. It's up to you, ain't it? I only care about results. To find a way of getting me what I want while playing nice with the law, that's your time wasted, not mine. Take it you're not a fan of the Annex. You're an ick Derek, aren't you? What has the Admiralty ever done for you? It's the cult that runs the Derricks. And it's the Admiralty that plays their lapdog, turning a blind eye. They don't care for law and order in Haverio. They only care to please their fish lords back across the sea. Even if it means throwing good folk to the abyss. Heavy. I didn't make that way. I'm just living with the consequences. Well, again, seems like the Admiralty are not always the greatest bunch. And of course, these guys aren't the greatest bunch, but it seems at least they will be honest and upfront with me, especially with Nadon. Even though definitely some of the things that are going to be illegal, it should hopefully work out okay. So I'm going to work for him. A contract's a contract. I'm happy to in bu be in business with you, Nadon. Oh, and we got Olo dislikes you. So he's probably the one that worked for the Admiralty. Glad you're convinced so easy. You do good on those favors, and maybe we're as copacetic as you say. And Kasho will be all yours. First order of business, take this. Alright, we get a spree card. Hmm. Battle card, terrorize. If this attack kills an enemy or makes them panic, Gain 3 power and heal for 5. Wow. Vital Strikes. Apply 1 wound whenever you attack for the rest of your turn. Mm, those are so hard to pick between. But, you know what? In the end, I like the healing. <laughs> Gotta heal, baby. What is it? This will tell people that you're under my protection. Nice. I've always wanted to learn a secret hat trick. So put me to work, boss. I'm here to impress, ain't I? You're hungry. That's good. The Admiralty have gotten old hold of an antiquity. They want it to gift it to the cult to butter them up for negotiations. Let's sour that butter, shall we? You want me to steal the antiquity? Steal it, destroy it, whatever you like, so long as the Admiralty can't profit off of it. Hmm. Alright, at least he's gonna pay me some good money for it. And it is a, whoops, it is a uh, negotiation focus as well. Sorry, my microphone just slipped off the table here, but... Hmm. We stole some intel on the route they're taking. All you gotta do is set up camp and they'll come to you. 
Antiquities are dangerous ancient tech. My family used to dig them up for a living. Eh. The Spark Barons keep everything dangerous to, for themselves. Likely this is just some old knickknack to decorate a priestly pedestal. Alright. Well, let's see what happens then when we uh, go to do this. I'm just glad to be at full health and full resolve. You find the route Nadan mentioned and lurk out of sight. It's not long before an ostentatious caravan approaches. The caravan is escorted by a few guards and a luminari, the most dangerous of the group. Shafan. Let's rest a moment. We've traveled all day and I wish to reflect in player. Oh, she's uh, from the cult of Hesh. As you like, luminari. You hold your breath and wait. The guard begins to sharpen his sword weapon on a leather strap. I'm sorry, but I can't focus while you work. I'll seek solitude in the forest. Uh, I'm sorry, Luminari. I can No. You have your duties, and I have mine. Guard the relic, please. With the Luminari out of the way, you emerge from your hiding spot. Why? Greetings. Hold, citizen. This is Admiralty business. Just a question, my good fellow. Do you keep the faith? Do you walk in the shallows? Of course. We're none of us faithless here. What is it to you, citizen? Well, could attack him, but he's a three-star and he also has a dog, so. Hmm, I could probably definitely beat him in a negotiation, because my resolve is higher. So let's try to do that. I'm a pilgrim and a scholar. An expert in antiquities, in fact. I was just in Grout Bog where I made a frightful discovery. Several recently unearthed relics were fake. The Spark Barons told me they just sold one to the Admiralty and I knew you had to be found. Fakes? The Spark Barons assured us it was perfectly authentic. So you do carry the relic. Well, I could certainly examine it for you just to be sure. Hmm. Alright. Well. Let's try this then. Oop. Alright. Okay, so hopefully I'll be protected. I got one damage there. That's okay. At least he's still attacking me over there. Okay. Protected. Hold on. What did that say? I think I can get rid of that. Alright. Alright. Let's keep going. Yes. Okay. Buying time. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, that's not gonna be too badly. Do this. Attack him there. And, you know what, since this is like really the only thing that I could do. I'm just going to protect myself. And I have to end my turn because I don't have enough cards. Alright. Okay. Man, he's really trying to get me, huh? Let's attack him. Okay, I can do my flourish. But I am going to maybe wait on that. I might employ it during the next round, possibly. Mm. I really need to protect myself over there. But this is all I got. 
So at least it's only going to hit me for two. And okay, I lost my smarts. I should gain that back. Okay, what is this? Uh, good lord. Okay, so he has impatience going. He's gonna hit me there and also hit me for that. So I might use this. Okay, so he's only gonna get me for five over there. But. I'm just gonna do this some more. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. He's getting more damage as it goes on. But hopefully, we can get rid of him with this. Do this. Alright. Nice. Draw two guards and upgrade them for this negotiation. Draw three cards. When this card is drawn, deal one damage to random opponent argument and gain one influence. Mm, I think I'm okay. Okay, I can upgrade. Cost of zero. Okay, that might save my butt. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. So I've dedicated my whole life to the study of relics. My eye won't be fooled, I can assure you. Well, I suppose there's no harm in having you look at it. My fingers will be as discreet as a dewdrop. Gao steps aside. You crawl inside the caravan and spot an ornate eel skin box. The relic sits on a bit of silk that feels like tallow. Looking at the relic, it's clear it's genuine, but it's a genuine trinket. No wonder the spark barons were willing to pass it on. Still, the Hessians might like the gift all the same. I could steal it or destroy it. <sighs> I'm a grifter, right? The relic slips easily into your pocket, and you exit the care friend looking prim as you can manage. Well, we carrying a fake or what? I have good news, soldier. It's genuine. I was blessed to eat, be even be in its presence. That's a relief. Now scram, civilian, because now you really have no reason to be here. You give a simpering bow before quickly making your exit. Whew. We got out of there. Nice. All right. Oh, crud. What's happening now? Okay. <sighs> All right. You're stopped along the road by an admiralty patrol swinging their batons with some showmanship. You, Grifter, get over here. There's a pompous curl to her lip that suggests you're in a heap of trouble. You're in for a heap of trouble. Best watch yourself. This road is under renovation by the admiralty. You want through, you need to pay the toll. Otherwise, we got license to be authoritative. Hmm. Pay the toll. Hundred dollars. Jesus. Or negotiate. Or fight. But she has two of you there. Maybe we can win this. We have the same amount of resolve. Let's see. She's going to attack me. Okay. Alright, nice. Do I have any? Well, 
I could do that, but not with the card set I have right now. Okay, and she planted evidence here. So it's gonna hit me for four. Good lord. Alright. Get some smart. Okay. That might not really be good, but. I wonder if I should do this. I'll execute my flourish, and I'll get rid of all of that. So I'm still gonna get hit over here, but hey, it's better than what I had earlier. Okay, so I should really, really get rid of this. Okay, so that'll do two. I will... I really gotta get rid of her. Okay. At least I'm protected. As long as I'm protected. <laughs> oh, man. She's gonna attack my smarts now. I see what it is. We could. Okay, I really hate that card coming up. But I still got my smarts. She's really trying to take out my planted evidence over there. Meh. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. So that is protected there. And hit her. And I might as well do that. Okay. Which wasn't so great, but well, it is what it is. Yes. Okay, she got impatience. Shucks, alright. Mm -hmm. Gonna find my calm. That'll be... That's not good. But. Let's see. Blade. Vulnerability. Make her vulnerable. And I'm gonna just apply composure to that. Okay. Alright. Okay, nice. And it's over with. Oh, I just tried to make that as quick as possible. But we got a negotiation card. Ooh, that's nice. I might just take that. Two influence, eight composure. I'll take that. Alright. I have upgrades that are available. Apply three, apply six, and then expand. Apply four. Um, at least it's not destroyed. Keep cool. Apply three or sticky. This card is not discarded at the end of your turn. Hmm. I might do apply three. Okay. Gain two influence, lose one influence. Alright, and my threatening card. Boost is threatened. Alright. Victory medal and restore my health. I'm a hunter officer and I'm on the job. 
If there's a toll I should be paying, I have to pass that expense on to my employers. And they'll want a receipt with your name and everything. It was just a bit of fun, Hunter. No need to get nasty. Be on your way then. Tima steps to the side, refusing to meet your gaze and allows you to pass. Oh, thank God. As long as you didn't confiscate that artifact I stole. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to this job with Nadon. Hello, Sal. Hey, here's the antiquity. You're right, it's just decor. But it's your decor now, boss. What am I supposed to do with this? Hang it in my war room and pretend it's a weapon? Hmm. Actually, yeah. That'll do. And I get paid 190 shills. Nice. And I get two metal. And I get a graph reward. Okay. Nice. These are battle graphs. Rugged wiring. Gain two power at the start of each battle. Lose two power the first time you take an enemy damage. Jeez. The spider, after every 8th card played, gained 2 temporary power. Buckshot. Apply 1 wound to a random enemy at the beginning of your turn. Mm -hmm. These other 2 cards don't sound as great. And well, it's not really such great battle graphs anyway, because I only get 30 shells for it. So I might actually do this one. Inflicting damage on the target might be good. And Buckshot is installed. We're done here. You got other things to do? That's fine. But don't take risks. You're go no good to me dead. Let's ask about Murder Bay. So are we from here? Yeah, there's murder in my blood. And my blood in the bay. Grim, but evocative. Must be hard to defend your territory. There's a lot of competition. Sometimes folks get out of line. But not for long. Uh huh. How do your people feel about you working with a hunter? I didn't ask. If they got feelings, that's on them. You didn't talk about it with them? I don't talk. Well, yeah, with that mouth. Yeah, so I see. You know, there was someone else who said they could get me into the auction. In the Admiralty. I think she wanted to get Kashio as much as you do. Maybe I should reach out. I mean, if you're willing to work with a hunter, maybe... No. I don't work with switches. Least of all, that switch. Ninolo? That was her name, I think. It is. Don't say it again. Okay then. Enough questions. Sure. You're the boss. That's all I have for today. I'll give word to fish when I need you again. What should I do until then? Keep your blade sharp. The next job I give you will be harder, so you best get ready. You make better muscle if you got a reputation that precedes you. So go work one up, and I'll let folks know you're not one to be messed with. Hmm. Alright, well, at least he likes us. But, ah. There are some things that are definitely happening now in the night time. But, I will be saving that for another gameplay walkthrough. And we just have uh, really finished working for Nadan. And we will continue this next time, so I will see you guys later, grifters.